Hey, it's Dorley and welcome to my channel. Today I'm mass producing some thank you cards. I went ahead and stamped this bird image the day before because I really wanted the ink to dry before I started playing with these alcohol markers. So I am just using some art <laughs> alcohol markers from my stash. Um, these happen to be the tri-blend one. This is a blue gray and I'm using this kind of as the neutral, the light color on the the breast of all these birds and also on their faces. I really love this blue gray for um, shadowing or anything um, where like the light kind of base color. And then I, I'm making all of these birds bluebirds. I don't even know if this bird can act is actually supposed to be a bluebird, but I'm that's what I'm doing. Basically, when I color with alcohol markers, I start with the lightest and then I go with the medium and then again with the dark and each time kind of highlighting a different area or moving the color out a little farther than um, than the first layer. Now, I have said it before, and if you are subscribed to my channel, you've heard me say I am not an expert at coloring. I do like the shadowing, and I think it looks really pretty when you use multiple shades of a color to add some depth to an image, but that's about the extent of my knowledge, and I am just winging it. So basically, like I said, I'm following the shape of the bird, and um, any of the highlighted areas that are actually already highlighted as far as the stamps concerned, that's where I put a lot more of the darker color. And then I just kind of keep going in and shading and just going over until I feel like it's blending a lot better. And, um, and then once I do that, and each step, you kind of wait a few seconds to let that alcohol kind of soak in. And then when I'm all done, I get that very lightest color, which in this case is that blue gray, and then just color around the entire image to make sure that all of it is blending in. And I just love the way these birds look. They are so cute. I love this bird stamp. This is one that was gifted to me from Rubber Paws, and you can read about her on my blog. I'll also have a link to my blog. Um this particular post um and so that way you can see close-ups of the card the finished cards uh, and also what um the products that i use to create the cards and this is just a really light green and i'm just kind of scribbling where those green um, the pine needles are and then this darker one i'm doing a little bit kind of flicking but following also the stamped um the stamped uh, needles so again very simple and then I realized I forgot to grab some markers for the, the beak so I'm starting with kind of a mustard yellow and then I'm going through with this even though it looks orange on the outside it's not as orange as it seems so I'm doing that in two shades as well I have this um, glitter marker and it's just clear so I decided to add that on just the branch and the um, the pine needles. I think I end up putting them on the belly of the bird on these ones, but I don't do it on the other 14. I've made 14 of these cards and I tried to color four at a time. I'm only doing two at a time here, but when I completed the other cards, I did four at a time. But I do hope you like that. It was really fun to finish those up. So I'm using this two and three quarter inch punch, circle punch to punch out the bird. Um, oh, that's uh, a motorcycle outside. Sorry if you hear that. Um, earlier I had chickens so <laughs> one of those you'll be able to hear so I just use this punch I always punch from the back side so you can make sure that you're punching where you want it to go and I had to use my tweezers to grab that for some reason this time so originally I was going to use these neutral cardstock for the cards oh I'm just showing you right now I did use a white pen to just throw some dots over there on the right and left sides of that belly of the the bird just some little highlights um the paper that i'm using the pattern paper is from the it's called the farmhouse paper company this was dated 2012 i've probably had it since then but it's called the sugar hill paper pack it's probably not available anymore. I've never even heard of that paper company, so it may not even be in business anymore. But um, I wanted to do kind of like a, I use the word country kind of loosely, but uh, I guess farmhouse is the best way to, to really describe it. Um, kind of look because it just toned it down a little bit. But then I realized there really was a huge clash between the white of the, uh, the circle and... Um, that kind of country, more of a neutral kind of color of the 
paper pads. So um, once I adhered the pattern paper, I decided to just use my scissors and to distress the edges of the circle. Now I've used my fingernail in the past. I even have a paper a distressor somewhere but I just didn't feel like getting up so I just used those scissors and then I'm just using one of those finger daubers and I believe the color that I use was called oh here I have it right here oatmeal cookie but any kind of light brown would work I, of course I used a dirty finger um, dauber so I got a little green in there but um, and you don't necessarily see it right here but I did kind of go in a little bit more on the inside to make it not so stark white. Now I'm doing this on the fly um, so I realized I wanted to add some twine but you know that adhesive that I used is so good that I almost ripped the paper so I instead of trying to take the whole thing out I just kind of did one section at a time added a little bit of adhesive you see me kind of messing with it now. I forgot to mention that I did stamp the thank you note directly onto the pattern paper instead of on like a different piece of paper but that worked out well I did have to put a little bit more adhesive on those bottom two corners because it kept um, coming up a little bit but that was no problem now I am the worst at tying bows so I you know you wrap it around your fingers if you want to do slow-mo and see me maybe you can learn something but I just feel like every time I do this it it never turns out the same but you know a lot of it's just guessing and it turned out pretty decent i used uh, mini glue dots at the bottom or at the knot of those bows and then just adhered it right on the twine that was on the card so when i did the other 13 cards you know i actually put the twine in the back first before putting um you know the pattern paper onto the card base obviously so basically that's the card i did decide to stamp in the inside and it's a sentiment about kindness because um we had an event at personal event that i needed to send thank you cards because we just had um a lot of um support from our friends and family and um i'm a card maker so i couldn't just buy generic thank you cards i felt like I needed to make handmade these cards <clears throat> put a little splatter on the bottom and top corners and that finished the card I hope you like this and if you do make sure you give me a thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and uh, thank you so much for watching bye